Well, so I'm finally getting around to looking at this Tecumseh lawnmower that I picked up off the side of the road. I already got that Bolin's lawnmower fixed and working. I actually already sold it, to be honest. Sold it the day after I put it up, but anyways. So I've got this Tecumseh lawnmower. Needs a little bit of work. I don't know the state of really much of anything on it. Our filter's kind of jammed on there, but it doesn't look all that dirty. Fuel line looks like it's gonna be gonna be leaking a little bit. That's unfortunate. So the spark plug wire has been taken out. Overall, it's in pretty dirty condition. It's not really all that rough. There's no sort of uh, rust damage or anything that I've seen so far. It does have oil in it. Except I think this is uh, not the correct level. Let me go ahead and try this again. It's actually a little low. It's right at, right at the ad mark. Let's we'll check the gas tank for gas. And it's bone dry in there. Starter recoil works. Let's go ahead and see where the compression's at. Appears like it's seized up. Maybe it's not. Let's tip over the lawnmower and uh, see what's going on beneath it. I think I know what's going on here. Tip it over on its side. Yeah, that's a problem. That's what that's for. Guess I'll be doing this too. The grass is so caked on. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bag off and then give this thing a nice uh, quick rinse. Well, that took a little longer than expected. If this was uh, during the summertime when I was doing this, there would definitely be some uh, black widows hanging out in here. I already found a bunch of eggs. Looks like the uh, blade itself is actually Got some damage to it. So as you guys can see right here, it's bent. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. But right now, oh uh, yeah, crankshaft is bent. That sucks. Told you guys I would get you guys an update on this thing, and here you go. You guys can watch this as I rotate it. Definitely got a bend to her. You guys can see that, I'm sure. That really sucks. Oh well. Maybe I can stick that Kohler on this thing as, uh, as soon as I work that out. win some and you lose some. The deck will be good. Hopefully the uh, I'll have to look at that Kohler motor that I've got. But hopefully it should marry up to this thing just fine. The big thing is finding a motor that's compatible with the uh, pulley for the self-propel. I do have a few other pulleys at the shop, but you know it's a crapshoot seeing if it'll fit the shaft or not. I don't even know if the one that's on this motor will fit the shaft, so we'll have to figure that out at some point. But anyways, guys, figured I'd get you guys an update video on this thing. That's the model number. That's too bad. They're not even worth fixing when the crankshaft is bent like that. You can't. The only way to fix that is to replace the crank, and I'm not going to bother going through all that work for a Tecumseh. So I'll probably just pull this motor off, throw it in the hoard, and, you know, hold on to it. But... Hopefully I can find a motor that will be compatible with that drive system. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. You all stay classy.